This piece now some wasps which are together hymenoptera, and beetles with her wing cases form the curly uptera, and a straw for a mouth would make it a hemiptera, and scales on the wings are unique to lepidoptera, lice that make you itch are called the fifoptera, and terrifying larvae are possessed by the neuroptera, and of course if it's got just two wings, it's probably a diptera. Unless it's taking out beast bump, in which case, strepsiptera. Emerging from the water you might see a femoroptera, but if the larva live in cases it will be dracoptera. Jumping in the grass you can hear the loud apoptera, but if it bites you on the bottom then more likely siphonoptera. Hiding under rocks you might find lots of dramaptera, and if it's eating all your books and it's tiny succoptera, and tiny little beasties are the feathering physnoptera, and ghoulies like a scorpion are shown off by macoptera. Looking in your kitchen you might find a gang of platodia, and prize precious predators are the matadia, and hawking through the air are the primitive adenata. And if it looks like a stick, then it's got to be Phasmatodia. We don't often see the snake like Raphidioptera, and down by the river we can find the Megaloptera, but if the wings are hell flat, it's actually Procoptera, not forgetting Embryoptera, Natoptera, and Teroptera. These are the only ones of which the news has come from the Natural History Museum. There may be many others, but I guess that's up to Tassel to decide.